coming up in this read. The obstacle that needs to be overcome is somebody is feeling like they don't have enough to give. Capricorn, let's get into your March love reading. Any information that you need, you can find it in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take <laughs> what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't for another Capricorn or a cross watcher okay also please do respect the tarot and approach it with patience an open mind and without expectations and finally if you don't want to miss a video then subscribe and stay notified okay capricorn uh, you're showing up super super loud in your own read which is absolutely beautiful to see your first card out is the devil that's your major arcana now, depending on the context of what else comes out, uh, then obviously I will clarify that. But with that being your major arcana, I'm just going to assume that that is your energy. Okay. Now, before I go into any of the zodiacs, I, I, I will ask for you to keep an open mind, okay? Because the zodiacs that I mention, they could be placements in your chart, in someone else's chart, or they could even be character traits of somebody as well, okay? Um, now, in your pre shuffle, I'll just go through your pre shuffle while I'm pulling your cards. There, there was. Uh, the number 2020 was really shouting, right? 2020. So for some of you, not all of you, <clears throat> for some of you, something pertaining to a situation that happened in 2020, something that was left unfinished through, through the month of March and April. I, I am feeling that April vibe as well. Um, it's going to be an opportunity for you to close out a cycle that should have been closed in 2020 or was just sort of left open in 2020. Okay, so an opportunity for closure with something or someone. Okay, right. So let's go through your cards. You have the devil, it's Capricorn energy. The five of wands is Leo. The nine of wands is Sag. Uh, it's moon in Sag, but the nine. The nine of cups is Pisces, uh, specifically Jupiter in Pisces. You then have the six of coins, that's moon in Taurus. The knight of wands is Sagittarius. Uh, the chariot is Cancerian. The five of coins is more Taurus. And you have death, that's Scorpion. And ace of swords wants to come out as well. Okay, so that's Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. Um, I think that's Venus in Scorpio with a seven. But it's hidden under that one. The Eight of Cups. Okay, Pisces. Right. Um, in your love energies, your overall, your overall energy with the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Wow, that <clears throat> that's actually super interesting, Capricorn. Look, you're going seven, eight, nine of cups. So you're definitely progressing when it comes down to um, love energies, your emotions, your, your feelings in general. You, you're definitely making a lot of progress. Um, there's a message about... walking away from something because you're no longer confused you're no longer daydreaming or that could be someone else's energy towards you someone could have been daydreaming about you they, they could have been holding out and waiting for you or you could have been holding out and waiting for someone else you're no longer doing that you, you, you're progressing you're moving forward can you tell me more please about that seven of cups for capricorn the Queen of Wands. Okay, so 
Again, I'm, I'm just going to say someone because I don't know which side of the table this is coming from. Um, so if I just leave it at someone, you can then use your discernment as to whether that someone is you or someone that you're dealing with. OK, there's there was it's was because it's past tense. Uh, seven of cups to the eight of cups is past tense. So there was someone that uh, you were very attracted to or someone was very attracted to you. Um, <clears throat> a very either you or they are very magnetic in character, very mysterious and it it was like um, a mystery to be unraveled with that particular energy. I'm going to pull something else on that one. Can you tell me more about the Queen? Of... Thank you. Nine of Coins, Virgo Energy. Okay, Independence. Um, this could be Capricorn that, that you didn't want to surrender your independence. You, you might have turned your back on love through fear of love or, or the possibility of love uh, encroaching on your ability to remain independent Some, something to do with what you do for a living as well uh, the stability that you've already built up you would quite like to keep so this connection or this attraction to that individual um, it, it's like something turns you off from that connection because because someone's definitely walked away from from this connection a connection that they really really wanted that they they walked away from it it's almost like uh, that there there was a fear that um they somehow had other things going on in their life that, that you didn't want to be responsible for something like that or vice versa maybe, maybe you had something going on in your life that um your intended didn't want to be responsible for it can it can be switch sides okay uh with the devil and the five of wands and the nine of wands that, that is a really difficult energy. Can you tell me more about that devil, please? Granted, I know it's your major arcana, but I do feel the need to clarify that one. Why the devil, please? Thank you. The two of wands. Okay, so you were stuck trying to make a decision. Because if you look in the in this particular deck, it's it's quite different from tradi uh, traditional tarot okay in traditional tarot the individual in the card has made a decision and he they, they have picked one thing because they they've got one hand on one staff and they've left the other staff behind them in this deck the, the individual is actually holding on to both staffs and, and looking to the future so you could be trying to bite off more than you can chew at the moment or someone else could be trying to bite off more than more than they can chew. Um, someone definitely does feel vastly out of their depth and definitely out of their comfort zone as well. That's why you've got the five of ones and the nine of ones. OK, um, taking on too much at once. This love connection, it had something within it that you had taken into consideration and realized it wasn't for you in that moment okay for some of you it could be the fact that the other person um maybe didn't earn some something about finances with the nine of coins maybe they didn't earn as much as you did and and you had a fear that uh, you would be expected to carry their responsibilities if they were unable to afford to do so. For some of you, I'm seeing that there could have been uh, children someplace within the connection. And, and again, you felt that that was a responsibility that you really genuinely didn't want to take on. A, a combination of multiple different things for, for some of you. Um, bottom line is this energy. Yes, there was a huge attraction, but something turned you off 
from the connection and 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 you you had to surrender it release it because again you you just weren't ready for um everything that that particular connection would require to be successful for some of you with this knight of wands uh for some of you the individual could have been um like th th there could have been quite a significant age gap between you and again fe feeling like you you weren't ready to give to that situation what it required tell me more about the nine of cups please the Nine of Cups is normally wish fulfillment. Absolute happiness and contentment as well. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. Ooh, the Seven of Cups. Uh, some of you just decided that you were going to keep your options open instead of tying yourself down to one situation. Again, Knight of Wands, that, that can be someone who is uh, out exploring, very flighty, as in they don't tend to stick around in the same place for a very long time. Uh, someone's constantly on the move as well. It could be uh, Six of Coins, Knight of Wands. It could be for some of you that your career requires you to do a lot of traveling and you do have the chariot out as well, which can also indicate uh, long distance travel with these two. Okay, so again, it could it could just be that the the, the fact that you uh, chose your career over a love connection because it, it's like you you were already committed to your career and then you met that individual and it, it, it just felt like it was bad timing. Also, I'm just seeing with this uh, nine of wands as well. That there could have been an assumption that was made that that individual uh, wouldn't have understood how you do things, that they, they wouldn't have appreciated perhaps the fact that you had to do a lot of uh, traveling. Okay, why the five of coins please for Capricorn? Why the five of coins? Right. Um, just seeing this. There's a square on the chest. I'm hoping you can see it. Now, a square that could indicate a major aspect, obstacles that are needing to be overcome. So if the chariot is squaring the five of coins, the obstacle that needs to be overcome is somebody is feeling like they don't have enough to give, that that is an obstacle. Someone could be feeling, um, out, why why out of their depth what why why does that keep coming out out of out of the depth is this someone who feels capricorn that you're out of their league or are you feeling that someone else is out of your league and then you've got the emperor Emperor is usually someone who is very confident. Masculine or feminine, it makes no difference. Okay. Um, it's just the polarization of the energies. The emperor is normally someone who is very, very confident. They have no issue whatsoever taking charge in their life. It's someone who is uh, very satisfied with um, what they've built up and, and they're still, they're, they're adamant on keeping what they've already built up. Emperor, the, 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 the masculine polarization 
Okay. And that would be for the five of coins. I'm getting the impression that someone's putting a lot of emphasis on finances and what they can get out of a situation. So there's there's trust issues here, Capricorn. There's trust issues. It's like um, the the attraction alone wasn't enough. It, it's like it's telling me that that whoever they are or were, um, that they had to somehow demonstrate to you that they were able to stand up on their own two feet for, for some of you financially. And for whatever reason, that individual fell short, which then left you with the assumption that somehow you would end up being financially liable for them. So you approached the relationship or the connection in a very practical manner, really super, super practical. Okay, why death, please? Thank you. The Nine of Swords, so yeah, um, huh, and if you look as well, the Nine to the Ace equals the Ten, so, something ended. So death, death, change, transition, transformation, liberation as well, um, an ending that this death is an ending. You didn't want to do it or they didn't want to do it, but they felt like there was no other option. They, they felt that uh, they, they had to, that they had to end the situation before things went too far with the, with the ace before things went too far that's interesting and then you've got the knights of swords under there and then you've got death again with the page of swords hmm knight of swords death Page of Swords, Five of Coins, Six of Coins, Queen of Coins, and the Two of Cups. Capricorn, I see what you've done. I see exactly what you've done, Capricorn. For some of you, this wasn't about your career. This was about your person's career. You respected that individual so much you clearly with, with with all of these cups if you take a peek under here look like you've got the two of cups the wheel of fortune you've got the um nine of cups you were in love with this individual and this individual was in love with you and you've liberation twice ending twice you set them free you set them free even though you didn't want to or vice versa this could have been someone else who set you free even though they didn't want to so that they could inv advance in their career so that they could focus on their career so that they could start building up that strong structure beneath their feet it looks like they've done it Capricorn, six of coins and the queen of coins. They, they've done it. They have an incredibly strong structure that they have built up now. They feel that they're, they're at that position in their career that they are 
very financially stable, secure and dependent, and that they have enough for, for this equal exchange, this six of coins. And then you've got the two of cups and the wheel of fortune. So this connection coming into union. Now that you're both matching each other, you're both at that same level of success that when you come together as a couple, it's going to be incredibly um, solid and equal because you can both hold hold yourselves up. You can both prop yourselves up financially. Now, I appreciate that that's, that's not the kind of message that everybody's going to want to see in their tower read because there's a lot of emphasis on like um, success and career and financial independence, financial stability. But at the end of the day, who, whoever's watching this needs to understand, especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn, that is what's so important to a Capricorn person. It's so, so utterly important that the partner can hold themselves financially. It's very practical. Capricorns are incredibly practical individuals. You've been watching this individual's progress and you've kept quiet very quiet. You, you've just allowed them to, um, like after you released them, you, you just allowed them to, to do what they needed to do, to do what was important for them to succeed in doing. And they've done it. And all the while, Capricorn, you've been watching quietly from, from, from the shadows almost. Or vice versa, your person has been quietly watching you from the shadows and now you're the one that's successful. And now you're the one that's at that place of, right, I'm here, I'm ready for a relationship. Because once you commit yourself to something, Capricorn, you're committed. Fully, completely and utterly. Someone is saying that now is the right time to reach out and communicate. So either you're going to reach out and communicate to your person or they're the ones that's going to reach out and contact you and see see if the, the ball can get rolling on the relationship part of things now. Wow. Wow. Have a healing message, please, for Capricorn. Discernment. Okay. Right, so number ten. And if anyone's interested in numerology, then number 10s are all about uh, completion, endings, karma, a renewal as well. Okay, so it says, take care in your choices now, look carefully and judge wisely. There may have been something difficult to see, something that, it, uh, something that has been obscured, but now it has been revealed to you. Examine it closely. I take my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. When you get, when you get some years on you, hopefully the time that you spend moving and choosing upon this earth brings you some kind of wisdom. Some of that wisdom will be bred of hindsight and perspective. All of us, if we're engaged in life, make good choices and some bad ones. Sometimes we make spectacularly bad ones. All of us get hurt. We hurt others, we learn, we forget, we fall over, we fall over again and again, get up, only to fall down again. But hopefully we grow, we change, and we're able to spot where our sore points are and then fix them if we so choose. We're able to take a good long look at what is painfully reoccurring in our lives and deal with it. 
The secret here is discernment, real discernment, making discernment a priority. To take time to ensure the acuteness of judgment, really looking at the fine print before you buy. Instead of taking things on face value or rushing into surface judgments, take your sweet time to form friendships and business relationships. Put your energy output into perspective, looking at evidence instead of only just believing. Feel and act when you're being trodden on or, or when you're having your boundaries overstepped or when something doesn't quite feel kosher. Ask clarifying questions and really listen to the answers offered and then act on the reality. That is growth. That is pattern busting. That is also the gathering of wisdom. And then it says uh, yellow jasper. So some of you might find comfort in carrying a piece of yellow jasper around with you at this time. Um, but discernment, breaking patterns. Again, um, you, your channeled message was something, something that should have been resolved or completed in 2020 is going to be resolved or completed throughout the month of March and or April this year. I feel that it's in connection to that. What else, please, for Capricorn? Okay, power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. You then have 1111. 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So some of you, um, th this connection is about a twin flame connection. You might have surrendered your twin flame connection in, in favor of allowing them to build up their career or vice versa. They might have surrendered you so that you could focus fire on your career. But it feels now that, that you're both in this really good place where, where you're able to bring this connection now into union. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're close. So you can, you, you're probably um, feeling a lot of, um, uh, I need to be responsible here because, because, um, I'm going to start describing a couple of symptoms. So I'm going to insert a disclaimer here that if anybody has got any concerns about their physical health, absolutely 100% go and see a health professional. Okay. Someone has had a heart chakra awakening and the symptoms can be physically felt often. Okay. And it's felt by ways of a very sh strong heart palpitations um, but it's more sort of in the center of your chest rather than on the left if that makes sense okay so you can tell the difference between oh shit something's actually wrong with my heart or ah right that that's like um the the, the heart chakra being activated or opened whatever the case might be okay it does have physical feelings and physical symptoms now when when you because of this sort of twin flame situation um you can physically feel each other's energy and it's felt in the heart space in the heart chakra so when they're thinking of you you'll feel that flutter in your chest and when you're thinking of them they will feel that flutter as well in their chest Okay, and then you've got rejoice. Wow, embrace your loving connection and rejoice. It's beautiful. So quite likely that you're going to be in union with this individual before the end of April. It's very, very likely. What else please for Capricorn? Thank you. And there you go. There's your heart chakra. And if anyone's interested in uh, crystal healing, it's saying Jade. 
So carrying a piece of jade close to you, that, that could be beneficial to you at this time. Compassion. Resolve your conflicts with compassion. So either you felt like you were being called or they felt like you were being called. Um, again, it, the, the intent, either your intent or their intent was misread. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have crown chakra, clear quartz, peace. In stillness, the answer will be revealed. Okay, so time for you to meditate. What else, please, for Capricorn? I'm in an offline state of mind. Unplug. Unplug. Someone's come away from social media. All kinds of social media. Because they, they didn't want the, the the grief and the chaos that um, seems to be really popular right now. There's, that there's this culture of it's like a, a drama culture at the moment where anything anything that's got a lot of drama is super super popular you find that sort of thing incredibly vile and toxic um so some of you you might have deleted almost all of your social medias because of the the the, the type of society that it encourages i'm in an offline state of mind unplug if you haven't done it yet you might find it beneficial to just take in a pause from all social media J just until you can um think straight and then you've got the path to inner peace begins with four words not my fucking problem let the crazy ass shit go Again, you see, you see with that drama culture, it's in reference to that. Mm. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Capricorn. If you would like to book a private reading with me that is more catered towards your specific needs, then the link to do so can be found down there in my pinned comment and description box or if you don't like clicking on links which is completely understandable then you can just go straight to phoenixkiatarot.com uh, don't forget to join me again on the 4th of april at 3 p.m gmt for your lifestyle read thank you so much to everybody who has liked shared subscribed and supported my channel it really really does help me to get the messages out to those who are needing to hear it thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon bye